In section 5.4, we will talk about dividing polynomials. Before we divide polynomials, let's review long division real quick. So let's say we're doing something simple like 15 divided by 4. So first we think about how many times does 4 go into 15? Well, 4 goes into 15 three times. Now what do we do with the 4 and 3? We take the 4 and the 3 and we multiply those. That gives you a 12. Uh, so we write the 12 here, but we don't add them, we subtract the two numbers with the remainder of three. Okay, so um, we're gonna use that same principle to do long division with polynomials. So for our first example, we have uh, the polynomial x cubed plus seven x squared plus 17x plus 22 divided by x plus two. So some vocabulary, um, the polynomial on the numerator, the one that is being divided, this is called the dividend. And the polynomial on the denominator, that, that's the one that's doing the divide, dividing, this is called the divisor. And whatever the result is, that is called the quotient. So let's set this up. The dividend, we're going to put inside, the, uh, inside of the division problem. So we have x cubed plus 7x squared. Uh, plus 17x plus 22 and we're going to divide this by x plus 2. Okay so the, the the dividend goes inside the division problem and the divisor goes outside. Now on the side I'm going to show my work and I recommend that you show your work on the side as well because if you show it here it's going to get too messy. So here's our work. Now the quotient is all about the first term of the divisor and the first term of the dividend. And because we're dividing, here's all we're doing. We're taking the first term of the divisor, which is x cubed, and we're dividing that by x. We're only dividing the first term of the dividend by the first term of the divisor. Forget about everything else for now. So x cubed divided by x, uh, this gives you x to the second power. We have three x's, we take away one, so that gives you x squared. Now, just like when you have the 3 up here, we multiply 3 times 4 to get 12, we're going to apply that same principle. So x cubed divided by x, that's going to be x squared, but that x squared gets multiplied by the entire expression x plus 2. So each step has two parts. So this is step 1. Part 1 is where we find the, the quotient, and then we take that x squared, just like we took that 3, and we multiply it by the 4. We take that x squared, and we multiply that by x plus 2. So each step has two parts. Part 1, we find the quotient. Part 2, we multiply that quotient by the divisor, which is x plus 2. So x squared times x, um, that gives you an x cubed. And x squared times 2, this gives you a 2x squared. Now here's the thing we have to remember. When we have 3 times 4 is 12, we subtract it. So we are going to be subtracting the x cubed plus the 2x squared. Okay, so what we're going to be doing is we're going to be subtracting the x cubed plus 2x squared. And when we subtract it, that negative sign is going to distribute to both the x cubed and to the 2x squared. So essentially, here's what's happening. That x cubed, we have a negative distributor to the x cubed, is going to become a negative x cubed, and that negative distributor to the 2x squared is going to become a negative 2x squared. Okay, so I'm going to distribute that, and that's going to become a negative x cubed and a negative 2x squared. So x cubed minus x cubed, that's going to give you a zero. Um, in other words, those two are going to undo each other, so I'm not going to write the zero. And we have 7x, now remember this was a negative x cubed and a negative 2x squared because that negative it distributed to both of those terms. And then you have 7x squared minus 2x squared and that gives you a 5x squared. Okay, now we're going to bring down the next term which is a 17x. So now we have 5x squared plus 17x. We're going to repeat this process again. And when you repeat the process, you're only focusing on the first term of the divisor and the first term, sorry, first term of the dividend and the first term of the divisor. So we take the 5x to the second power and we divide that by x. So the 5 is going to remain intact 
because we're not dividing by, we're only dividing by one. X squared divided by X, so we have two X's, we take away one, and that gives you a five X. But we're not quite done because we're gonna take that five X and we're going to multiply it by X plus two. So this gives us five X squared, and then five X times two is going to be 10 X. But because I know I have to subtract it, here's a shortcut that I use, and you can use it or not use it. You can do it this way, or you can use a shortcut. I know that I'm going to be subtracting, so this is going to become a negative, and that's going to become a negative. So before I bring those over here, I'm going to change both their signs, since I know I'm going to be subtracting. So I have a negative 5x squared and a negative 10x. Okay, now let's see my result. My result, 5x squared minus 5x squared is 0, 17x minus 10x is 7x, and now I bring down the next term, which is a 22. So now, let's do this one more time. Step 3, I focus on the first term of my dividend, first term of my divisor. So 7x divided by x, that just gives me 7. The x divided by x, that gives you a 1. So, oh, and you know what, I'm sorry, I forgot to write down the 5x up here. So we have x squared plus 5x and a plus 7. So let's do this again. We take the 7 and you multiply this by x plus 2, and that gives you 7x plus 14. But because I know I have to subtract it anyway, I'm going to make this into a negative 7x and a negative 14. So I have a negative 7x and a negative 14. So now 7x minus 7x is 0, uh, 22 minus 14, that's going to be 8. So my answer is going to be x squared plus 5x plus 7. And here's what we do with the remainder. We take the remainder, which is 8, and we are going to write that over x plus 2. I know it's kind of a complicated process, so of course I'll be happy to answer questions during class, and then we'll do more practice also. So the next example we are going to do in class. Now synthetic division is a really simplified way of doing long division. Okay, um, synthetic division is best used when you divide by uh, a binomial with a where the, the leading coefficient is one. Okay, so here's how we set up synthetic division. We make a little box, and inside the box, we're going to put all the coefficients of the uh, of the terms. So we have a one x cubed, we have a seven x squared. We have a 17x and we have a 22. Now, by the way, if any of the terms were missing, like for example, let's say we didn't have an x squared, we would put a zero in its place. And we'll talk more about that later on, but every single um, uh, exponent has to be represented. So here we have one x cubed, seven x squared, 17x plus 22. Now here's, here's what you divide by. Okay, now you divide by the zero of x plus two, which means we are going to take the x plus two, set it equal to zero, and we're actually going to divide by x equals to negative 2. Okay, so keep that in mind for synthetic division. You always divide by the 0 of the divisor. So you set x plus 2 equal to 0, and we're going to divide by negative 2. Here's how we do that. We bring down the 1. So going down, you always add, but 1 plus 0 is 1. So we just have a 1. And you always multiply going this way. So I'm, and I'm going to show the work on the side. So here, I'm going to multiply negative 2 times 1, which gives me a negative 2. And that result, so negative 2 times 1 is negative 2, that result I'm going to place here. And I'm going to add going down, so 7 minus 2 is going to be 5. Okay, I'm going to do that again. Now I'm going to take the, the negative 2, I'm going to multiply it with the 5, so now I have negative 2 times 5, which is negative 10, and that result I'm going to put over here and add going down. 17 minus 10, that is going to be 7. Okay, I'm going to do that again. So I have negative 2 times 7, which is a negative 14. So I'm going to multiply negative 2 times 7, that's a negative 14. That result goes up there. 22 minus 14 is going to be 8. Now let's think about what happened. We started off with an x cubed, and we divided by x. So we drop down one degree. So even though this used to be one x cubed, because we divided by a factor of x, we're going to drop down one degree. So this x is going to become a one x squared. And then it's going to go plus five x plus seven, and the remainder is going to be eight over x plus two. So the last term, 
that's always going to be the remainder. And if the remainder is zero, that means x plus two is a factor of the, the dividend. But in this case, it's not zero, so x plus two is not a factor of the dividend. So our answer is going to be x squared plus five x plus seven plus eight over x plus two. And I, maybe this problem looks familiar because this was the first example that we did. Except here, by doing synthetic division, we did it in a much more simple and much faster way. Um, Let's take the next example. We have negative 2x. So we'll do this one in class, but I'm going to help you set it up because I want you to think about this. So we set up our synthetic division. We put all the coefficients inside. So we have negative 2x to the fourth. We have a 1x to the third. We have a 3x squared. Now notice that the x's are missing. We have no x's. So because we have no x's over in between x squared and a constant, there should be an x. If we have no x's, it means we have zero x's. So we're going to put a zero in the x's place. And then we got the negative four. So make sure each exponent is represented. We have the x to the fourth, that's a negative two. We have x cubed, that has a coefficient of one. We have x squared, that has a coefficient of three. Then we have no x's, and then our constant, that's going to be a negative four. Now, what do we divide by? We always divide by the 0 of the divisor. So if we take x minus 5, set it equal to 0, we are going to divide by x equals to 5. OK, and then the rest of the process we will, we will do in class. Here's another example that I'll help you set up. And we'll also do this, do this one in class. But we have, let's see, we got x to the fourth. So there's 1x to the fourth. The coefficient is 1. For x to the third, we have a coefficient of negative 2. Notice we have no x squared, so we have x to the fourth. Okay, there, there's 1x to the fourth. We have uh, x to the third, so we have a negative 2x to the third. x to the x squared, we have 0x squared. We have no x squared. And then we have x, we have a negative 1, and then our constant is going to be 7. And the 0 of the denominator, x plus 1 equals to 0, x equals to negative 1. So we're going to divide this by a negative 1, and then we can start our synthetic division. And that's it for this lecture.